How y'all doing? This is Amir. You're on the Amir Show. I'm in the studio now with the fifth, a.k.a. Donnarell Green. Hey, how y'all doing? Yeah, so we're here to just talk about music and how I got into it. So why don't you tell us something about it? Uh, Well, it goes all the way back to about uh, sixth grade. I was uh, 12 years old. First thing I remember uh, back in that time, T.I. was just coming up. He came out with a song called 24s. 24. Well, yeah, you know how that song goes. So I I was into basketball and music at the time. So once I heard T.I. come out with that song, I basically made a, I wrote my first rap. Mm. It was like a basketball version of T.I.'s 24s or whatever. So that really jump-started my, my music career. From there, I just started writing raps uh, and making beats as well because I needed my own music to go with my with my raps or whatever. So that's really how I got started as far as music goes. That's on point. You can't get my all again. But this pain got me giving you my all to win. Your retention, your approval. But I still end up feeling like a loser. Affectionate abuser of affection, my consumer. Where are you from? I'm from Athens, Georgia, also known as the classic city. <laughs> Small town in Georgia. Uh, home of the UGA Bulldogs is what most people know it know it for, but we we got some talent in Athens, and uh, you, you can expect some big things, especially from me and a few others, such as uh, Cassie Chantel is an artist that uh, is coming out of Athens that I worked with since for a while, mm. and uh, Dictator, the whole GA Pro camp, uh, my homie Solo. That's his name. He goes by Solo Zaquavius Clay, mm. government name. So, I mean, we got a few people, man. DJ Country Boy. We got DJs. We got producers. We got a whole bunch of people coming from Athens. All right. Shout out to Athens. I should be moving on. The battle scars keep us so Do you write for anyone else or do you just write for yourself? Um... Well, I've written for a couple of people, written written for a couple of people, uh, a group that I was in or still in, Lyrical Pain. Um, I've done a lot of writing for us. And then I have my crew now, Black Element. Uh, me and some of the other people in the crew, we do a lot of the writing. And of course, I write my own songs. Mm -hmm. And yeah, that's pretty much all I do as far as writing. Do you play any instruments? Uh, yes. I. Uh, Played the violin from about sixth sixth grade till twelfth grade. I can still play it. Mm -hmm. I can play the piano okay at a fair decent level. <laughs> and yeah, I play those two instruments. Filled with so much pride, I know you feeling anger. Talking about you let go, I know that you ain't let go. Cause if you really let go, why you crying in your bed? For Tell us about uh, how you produce, how you produce the music. Uh, well, I produce the music a number of ways, man. It really depends. Um, a lot of my music is sample-based because I just love incorporating music and just putting it together like a puzzle. Mm -hmm. So a lot of times I'll hear a song that I like and I'll just load it up in the garage band. And a lot of people aren't too aren't really fans of garage band because it's, it's kind of basic, but I'm like a master at garage band and I can really just make it my own. Mm -hmm. So... I load the sample into a garage band, I chop it up from there, and from there I put it into Logic Pro, and then I just add the drums or what other instruments, whatever other instruments I need. I've been doing that since I was about little. I used to, well, since I was little, I had a uh, CDJ I used to do it with, hmm. but uh, that stopped working, so I just started using Garage Band. Yeah, you gotta work with what you got. <laughs> yeah, you gotta work with what you got, man, you know. I is there anybody that influenced you? Man, that list goes on and on. But uh How about like the top five? The top five would definitely be Outcast. Uh listened to them a lot growing up. Stevie Wonder, uh Eric Badu, um Roy Ayers. Uh, Parliament, P-Funk, Funkadelic, uh, Jay-Z, Kanye West, you know, All those right. are really the top, 
people that influence me okay. to do what I do today. Okay. Things forever miss. The battle scars keep us apart, but at times I reminisce. Once was my queen, now you my nightmare. Hunting my dreams, wherever I go, you right there. So uh, can we expect any uh, mixtapes or albums dropping in the near future? Uh, yeah, I'm in the studio working as often as I can. Um, right now, I'm working on two projects. The the Black Element project uh, is me, myself, and other artists on Black Element. My crew, basically, my camp. It's a compilation CD. So we're going to be dropping a mixtape very soon. I don't have a date yet, but we're in the studio working. Mm. I'm also working on my solo project entitled The Fifth, The First Saga. So I'm working on that. That should be dropping soon, uh, around March, April, around that time. Okay, all right. Well, uh, you got a Twitter any of my viewers can follow? Yeah, you can follow me at Sightless Faith. That's Sightless Faith on Twitter. Um, I'm on Facebook, facebook.com slash Sightless Faith. If you want to access, if you want to access all my music, you can go to my SoundCloud. That's soundcloud.com slash Sightless Faith. And if you want to get a little, uh, I guess, uh, more in-depth or in a deeper peek into my life, you can uh, check out my blog. It's uh, fifthhop.blogspot.com. All right. Okay, well, the fifth, Donald Green. Thanks for watching. See you guys later. Yeah.